Hey guys, I'm Cassie, the director of X-Team, and as we prepare for the summer season and open up the fall winter membership, I wanted to sit down with the Bounce CEO, and, uh, Krista Samaris, and ask her a few questions um, about what's ahead. So, Krista, um, Richmond, you spent the spring down there and uh, worked with the University of Richmond Women's Across team, and uh, in the last few weeks since you've been back, you've been talking to a lot of our girls, and all they want to know about is how your experience was. So can you tell us um, in a few sentences how it was? Sure. Um, <clears throat> Richmond was awesome. I think I got like the best 23 girls to work with ever and I got a lot of liberty to try a bunch of different things both um, on the field and off the field. My job was really to try to help uh, create a winning culture there and, and foster that um, and the girls worked really hard which was really fun. They were the best group to try new things with and all those things will be bringing to the X team program this summer. So that was really fantastic. Obviously, it goes without saying that it was amazing to be on the sidelines of such a competitive team playing such amazing teams, not only in their conference, but outside of their conference. That was amazing. Um, and finally, you know, as any experience, I feel like it was a laboratory to try a lot of things, and that's always a situation I love the most. Um, one thing that I learned that I will bring into and drops into a lot of our curriculum is, you know, learning how hard it is to not just get to the Division One level, but to stay there. It is really hard, not on the body, on the body but um, emotionally and um, psychologically to endure that uh, intensity over a long period of time is, is something that I don't think we were preparing our extremers at, at best to do, and we, we certainly will now. That's great. Um, speaking of curriculum, you've been working in the last, or throughout the spring, but even in the last uh, few weeks, you've been working on this awesome curriculum for the summer program, well, for the XC membership in general, but starting off this summer. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. I, um, as you know, and hopefully most of the people in the business know, like this is what I love to do. I love to write curriculum. Um, I'm really interested in in trying to make uh, the teaching of the sport and the teaching of life lessons uh, something that is a great experience for everybody, the teachers and the people learning. But for X team, we have come up with six fantastic categories, all of which our coaches will be extremely well trained and do and learning a ton of different ways to sort of like navigate our members within those categories. And those categories are uh, philosophy, uh, how we've been doing things here for at least 10 years at Bounce and at X team, the systems, the actual playing systems, um, professionalism, making sure our girls know how to act um, and are prepared for the world beyond just the recruiting process and um, even college. Uh, of course, character, all the stuff that we're learning about um, now with the character report cards that we're offering our kids on, on top of their playing evaluations. Uh, recruiting, which is of course a specialty of X team um, and leveling the playing field for our members uh, from non-traditional areas and all over the country. Um, and finally, reflection, which becomes a, a big category now. It's certainly what I learned at Richmond is that writing stuff down and really asking yourself hard questions or having somebody facilitate those questions with you is a big part of the process of like things sinking in and figuring out how to best prepare and plan going forward. So yeah, we've got uh, philosophy, systems, professionalism, character, recruiting, and reflection. It is a tight ship that we're going to run, and I'm really, 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 really excited about it. I'm certainly tired from, from writing and writing and writing, but uh, it's going to be well worth it and I'm excited to implement it with all of you guys. It's great. It's We're psyched. Awesome! <laughs> um, and then a, a couple, one, one last thing with the fall winter program just opening uh, a couple of minutes ago or a couple hours ago. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the shift that it's made this year as opposed to last year? Sure. Uh, I think you and I have been working um, really hard on making sure that we keep X team like super relevant. And what's one of the things that we need to consider is obviously recruiting is the, is the biggest thing, the timeline of recruiting. We also consider what's happening in your lives. So fall sports, um, holidays, SAT training, PSAT stuff. Um, but the job of X team is to sort through all the things that are happening in the lacrosse world, not just on the field and off the field, but with recruiting and all that stuff to make sure that we're presenting to our members the best options. Um, so we separated our fall and winter because fall is really, really about the 14s exposing um, to college coaches their play at the time and developing. So for that grad year, we sort of helped them to get to those that, that November tournament portion of the sort of season. For the younger guys, for the 15s and the 16s, 17s, it's about prepping them in our program so that they're seeing success on the field um, and that they're learning as much as they possibly can about our program and also getting the opportunity to play. However, there's a big shift that happens after the November tournaments um, leading up to, say, a tournament like Sandstorm. Sandstorm is obviously our favorite tournament. We have a great, humongous gala there every year. We don't want to lose that. But we do want a specific training that prepares not only the 14s for another set of recruiting 
options, but it starts to prepare the 15s, and that's really what that's for. Um, and 16s and 17s as well. It's a slight bit of a shift because the competitive level, we up our competitive level now that the team and clubs will sort of have been playing together for long enough. So, um, you know, consistency is always really key. So those people that play in the fall, it, it's easy, it's better for them to segue and play than in the winter. And certainly the, those girls that are playing with us in the summer to play in the fall and then the winter. The X team program is, as you know, a stackable thing. So the longer you're with us, the more we can actually have an impact on you. And that's what we take seriously here at X team. We don't want to just coach you at a tournament. We want to know you so that we can help you coach yourself through life. We are interested in certainly making, um, you know, girls better at lacrosse, but I think our major interest here at X team is to build leaders. Yeah. Sounds like a sound bite, but I mean, I think you know, as we practice what we preach, is certainly why we preach it. Absolutely. Um, and then before we leave, uh, I want to thank you for your time, but also um, ask you um, if you have any last words of advice for, for, for girls to prepare for the summer. Oh, yes. Um, for all of our current members, you guys should be. Uh, doing your training packet is going to be really critical. Um, and I think that like any girl at the University of Richmond will tell you that I do like to work out. I do participate with the team. Um, and any former ex will know will let you know that I, I like to participate with you guys. So um, I'm really fit. And I'm expecting that you are too. <laughs> so that's my big, uh, big piece of advice. Awesome. Awesome. Well, check out the X Team website for the uh, summer schedule, or sorry, the fall winter schedule and the registration, and let us know if you have any questions. Cool. Bye, guys. Have a great week, couple days. See you soon. Bye.